Hi everybody, this is Darren Goodman from GuitarControl.com bringing you this little video lesson today. Uh, today I want to show you how to uh, play a cool lick. It's a Steve Vai lick from uh, the intro of the song Tobacco Road uh, that's on the first David Lee Roth solo album after he left Van Halen, Eat Him and Smile. If you have never checked out that album, you really should. It's got some of Vai's best playing, in my opinion, ever on it. Great lineup uh, of a for a you know for a band. Anyway, uh, be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs, and uh, let's get started. All right, so this is uh, this is a really simple lick that's based in uh, the first pattern of uh, pentatonic minor. Um, we're in A. So hopefully you already know that scale. Um, if you don't, uh, check through the other videos. There's you know probably numerous videos that you know teach how to play uh, that scale. All right, so we're starting off. We're on the uh, seventh fret of the third string, one with my third finger, and I'm going to um, bend that note up a whole step. And then I'm going to follow that with, uh, by barring my first finger across the fifth fret of the first and second strings. So. Then I'm going to, after that, I'm going to go back to the seventh fret on the third string. And then from there to the fifth fret on the third string. So. Then to the seventh fret on the fourth string. Then back to the fifth fret on the third string. So. Now. Next note is on the seventh fret of the third string again, and I'm going to do um, an artificial harmonic. Well, I'm going to attempt to do an artificial harmonic. All right. So for those of you that are not aware of how to do these pinch harmonics, what I'm basically doing is I'm I'm taking the pick, and the way that I'm holding it, um, I'm choked up on the pick, you know, really far, which you should which you should do anyway. Think of the guitar pick as like a pencil, you know. So you know when you write, you don't hold the pencil out on the end where the eraser is. You you know you choke up on it. And when I pick the string, I'm going to do it so this fleshy part of my thumb right here makes contact with the string when the uh, pick does. And what that does is it gives that cool uh, squeal sound. Now, depending upon where you pick on the string is depending upon like what, how good of a harmonic you get. I'm sure if you can see that. So like when I'm a... See different places sound better than others and it depends on what fret you're on as to uh, where that is. So that's something that it takes a lot of practice to really get that down. All right, so I'm gonna hit that note as a pinch harmonic and I'm going to bend it um, and release it a couple of times. So we've got... Now I'm following that back to the fifth fret of the third string. So I'm following that back to the fifth fret of the third string and then to the seventh fret of the fourth string. Okay, so after um, I do the uh, the pinch harmonic with the bends, then I'm just going to basically walk down the scale. So I go to the fifth fret of the third string, then to the seventh fret of the fourth string, to the fifth fret of the fourth string, and now I'm going to do a um, repetitive hammer pull off, kind of a trill thing between the fifth and seventh fret. All right, so the entire sequence. All right, so I <clears throat> hope you enjoyed that. Um, be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs, and until next time.